If you're anything like me, you have played through the campaign of The Division quite often, yet you probably have little to no clue who is the main bad guy and what happened to him. Through the story footage, CCTV footage, phone messages and virus reports, I will show you the story of Aaron Keener. First, let's take a quick look at the tragic green poison crisis as it's relevant to his story. We have created a system so complicated that we no longer understand how to control it. We've created a house of cards. Remove just one and everything falls apart. And what's fueling this system? Money. Gordon Amherst, a virologist, believes that the human population needs to be controlled. He creates the green poison, smallpox combined with six other pathogens, the deadliest virus ever known. Applied to banknotes, the green poison, often called dollar flu, spreads on Black Friday, the prime example of greed. People around the world started getting sick, getting worse each day. In New York City, Sarah, the NYPD and local hospitals are put in charge of solving this crisis and maintaining order. In the meantime, the LMB Last Man Battalion, a private military company led by Colonel Charles Bliss, is put in control of Wall Street to protect the stock market. This all fails and New York's governor calls in the National Guard, the Army, the Marine Reserves and CDC Center for Disease Control to assist the containment efforts. Their solution? Quarantine the infected citizens in what's later to be known as the Dark Zone. Loss in numbers diminishes their hold over the city, leading them to combine efforts and form the JTF, the Joint Task Force. Assisted by the first wave agents, the JTF completely lose control of the Dark Zone and abandon it, leaving a lot of first wave agents and JTF behind. The Dark Zone and large parts of Manhattan were from then on in control of the rioters, rikers led by Larray Barrett and left behind sanitation workers from the cleaners, led by Joe Farrow. Aaron Keener, the main antagonist, is at this moment extracting a group of civilians as they get attacked by a group of rioters. Calling for backup, it goes unanswered, leading to the death of everyone but himself. This incident causes Keener to turn rogue. His first act following his decision was turning any other first wave agents rogue and executing any that didn't agree. Look, I don't agree with every decision that's been made, but I am saying it's time to leave them behind. Their model doesn't work anymore. If we're smart, we cut it loose before it drags us down, before it kills us. You're talking freedom. I'm talking common sense. Look around, there's nothing left to say. The JTF is trying to save a Manhattan that doesn't exist anymore. It is all about power now. Power and survival. They are done, but I am not. And you won't be either. Not if you work with me. I think we need to modify Keener then met with Charles Bliss to join forces. Lenin Keener used LMB troops to help him in his goals and Bliss getting his hands on Keener's shape tech. Six weeks ago, I get a base of operations, a place on what's going to be the winning side, and the occasional use of your manpower as needed. Not to mention the occasional surface to air missile. Or have you forgotten about that chopper in Brooklyn? Look, my people did the dirty work on that op, Bliss, and eliminating Division Senior Command was as much a benefit to you as to me. Using an LMB service to air missile system, Keener blows up the JTF helicopter that was carrying the Division Commander who was in charge of bringing the second wave agents into Manhattan. Keener discovers that Gordon Amherst was behind the outbreak. Besides hindering the second wave, Keener intends to create a new virus and vaccine, which he will solely have the ownership to, and he can place the population at his mercy. This becomes a reality after Keener finds Amherst's lab, including some virus samples, a 3D DNA printer, and Amherst's notes and laptop. Here we find out Amherst's fate as he is shown to be killed by his own creation. 
Since Keener is a soldier and not a scientist, he decides to let his first wave agents kidnap Vitaly Chernenko, the Russian virologist holed up in the Russian consulate. Retreating with Chernenko to the UN headquarters, the LMB base of operations, Keener notices that the LMB is finished. Betraying Charles Bliss and the LMB, he takes Chernenko with him and lets two rogue agents slow down the second wave agents and jam their tracking hardware to prevent them following him. This is the last we've heard and seen about him. Smartphone intel left behind on the West Pier shows that Keener was also here to hunt down a few things that he needed for his plans, but that he now left. His current whereabouts are unknown, but he did leave numeral smartphone messages for the second wave agents. He taunts them that how he will not be found after finally mentioning he's now truly gone and he has set his eyes not only on the United States, but on the world at large. Following this, he goes radio silent. Viewing things from his side gives us another perspective at the story of the green poison. Keener's actions are controversial to say the least. So in closing, what I want to know the most is the following. Whose side are you on? The division or Keener and the rogue agents?